Welcome to this Dr Frost Maths tutorial on getting started as a teacher. When you log in, you will see this home dashboard. If you ever get lost, you can click on this icon here to return to the dashboard. This is my own dashboard, but I'll log on with a fresh account in a moment to show you how to set up classes. You can see aggregate data about the school and here are some quick links to the most commonly used functionality of the site. And here is your notifications feed, where items will be generated when you set homework or assessments, when students complete a homework, do independent practice, earn medals, and even when students haven't done their homework. You can view notifications for other teachers in your school using this drop down here. There are a few tabs on the left here. The Topic Explorer, which students also have on their own dashboard, allows you to see everything available for each topic. This first column are resources for learning about a new topic, whether video or my teaching slides. The second column allows you to browse for questions on that topic. And the third column, which is mostly intended for students, shows your current progress for that topic. Students earn topic medals by completing the two topic tests for that topic. Students can earn up to 100 points for each topic. You can filter by strand or you can filter by typing in a topic name, trigonometry, and you can see it shows all the topics to do with trigonometry. Or you can filter by performance, so I can see the topics that I'm secure on, which is none of them, or topics to work on, and you can see the topics I need to work on, or even the topic that I haven't encountered. And if you look through the strand list here, you can see that some of them correspond to schemes of work that I've set up in my school. I'll quickly show you how to set up these in a moment. Students can also see the trophies that they've earned. You can view leaderboards by class and by year group. And there are a number of tutorial videos explaining various parts of the functionality of the site. I've now logged in using a new teacher account where there are no students in the school. This cog icon here is for managing all your classes, teacher accounts, schemes of work and other school settings. Let's add a new teacher. I just need to click this Add Teachers button, insert some basic information, and it will automatically be emailed to complete the registration process. You can select teachers simply by clicking, and you can then change their password and other information. If for some reason they don't receive the activation email, you can force their account to activate using this button here. Now let's set up a class. You can either go to manage classes from here, or if you're already managing teachers, you can see there's a tab here to add a class. Just set the information about your class here. Set an appropriate year group, assign any teachers. So we want to click me. You can view a separate tutorial video found on the dashboard how to tab about setting up schemes of work. Now let's click submit. You'll see three options now for adding students to your class. In the first, you just give them this URL and they'll select their name from a drop down menu. In the second, you can add the names of the students and they set their email address and password when they complete the registration process. In the last, you put in their name and email address. Let's do this option. You can add students using this blue button here. You can either create accounts in bulk, or add a single individual, or move students from another class. You can either type here, or if you go to Excel, and have arranged your columns with surname first, then first name, and optionally their email address, you can copy using Control and C, selecting just the student data, so Control C, and then paste using Control and V. You'll be warned if there are any existing student accounts with that name and given appropriate options. Just as with teachers, you can edit a student's details including password, but we can also move their class. If students have registered independently, you can find them using this tab here and subsequently assign them to classes if you wish. You may at this stage want to go to school settings 
found here. You can set the school's domain extension so that the system recognises email addresses as belonging to your school and you can change your school's logo as well. Let's return to the dashboard by clicking the home icon. We'll quickly explore the menus. The resources tab is for non-interactive resources. We can see teaching videos, my new event, GCC revision sheets, enrichment resources and simulators for the new Casio calculators. Videos. Questions is where you can browse questions by topic, or browse past papers, or create a worksheet. With the Set Work tab, you can set homework to students and formal assessments, or play a live classroom game in which students can play using their mobile device. In the Progress tab, you can see a timeline of student activity, see a student or class's progress by topic, export reports to Excel, and even generate certificates. Let's now see how we can browse questions. If we browse by topic, we can filter by topic here. Let's select changing the subject and change the subject where the subject appears multiple times. We can also filter by difficulty and by exam board. We can always answer the question here. We click in this box and input an answer. I'm just going to type anything just for time and we get instant feedback. This mode is particularly useful in class when displayed on a projector. We can also view by past paper. Questions, past papers. You can select the exam board here and then what tier you want. Let's select this paper. You can see a variety of buttons here. Use this button to set this paper to some students, either as a homework or a formal assessment. You can save your own copy so you can modify the questions on the paper. For example, if you want to set an abridged version of a paper to your students. You can also export to Word or play the paper as a live game, which I explore in a separate video. Or you can view the paper as a student would using practice mode. In a separate video, you can see how to create your own worksheet using this new tab here, but let's just set this paper to a class. I click on the Set to Students button, choose either individuals or classes I want to set it to, set the due date, and then choose if I want to set this as a homework or a formal assessment. Let's click OK. We are then taken to the progress interface. You can then view these students' answers for this homework later under the Set Work tab. A last thing to note is that you can use the search bar at the top to search for any skill, any resource, any student or any class to be able to access these quickly. We can quickly access a student's account or access questions on these particular topics or view a video. I'll let you explore the rest yourself. Please email me if you are unsure.